Thanks for coming back. Today we review Cabin Fever from 2002. Again joining in on Harry Movie Club this week. Annotation above for Harry Movie Club, curated by Mr. Harry Britt. Cabin Fever is written and directed by Eli Roth, and a writing credit also going to Randy Perlstein. The movie has, I wouldn't say any notable people that I've seen, except for Ryder Strong. He plays Paul, and he was in Boy Meets World. Other than that, I really haven't seen the people around, except in, like, uh, not cameo appearances, but minor appearances, like James DeBello plays Bert. He's an American Pie, and in this, he acts like an American Pie character, and I was thinking to myself, he should be an American Pie, and IMDb says he was the enthusiastic guy from American Pie. Um, there's Joey Kern. I swear I've seen him in other stuff, but I can't really remember, and Jordan Ladd and Serena Vincent. Karen and Marcy didn't really see elsewhere. The movie, I feel like, throughout has a kind of B-movie camp feel that they are going for. It wasn't an accident, um, but they're still trying to be a bit serious. There are definitely parts that are dark humor that will give you a little chuckle intermingled with full-out visceral gore effects that Eli Roth, this was made before Hostel, I'd say since this movie came out and then Hostel and Hostel Part 2 Eli Roth is really known for the up in your face gore and in this you can see where he's leading towards the Hostel type of gore I would say most of the performances were believable so spoilers the fact that Ken gets the disease and then they quarantine her off and then there's the tension in between each person they make each person lift their clothes so they can check just to make sure that they haven't been infected and so those parts, I think, were very good at showing, like, the psychology of being in a, really a small place. Uh, you're definitely isolated. Your vehicle is destroyed. And even if you were to run, it's nowhere that you know where running to will take you. The movie is 93 minutes long. I did watch the director's cut, so I think mine might have been a bit longer. But it doesn't ever feel like there's any lulls, I don't think. The movie always does feel really tense. The music plays great to that. Even when there's moments that really wouldn't be tense, the music amps it up. Like, they show the water pipe, and the music just makes this seem like the most menacing water pipe in the world. Like, the water pipe itself is going to kill you. In essence, it kind of did kill them. But I really like that about this. The camera's angles and, like, the cinematography, I didn't find anything terrible with it. I didn't find it too jumpy or anything like that. So overall, I would say Cabin Fear is a definite keep and an add to the horror list when you're needing a good horror movie. So like I said, this Today We Review was for Harry Movie Club, annotation above. It'll take you to the playlist with all submissions for Harry Movie Club each week. This was Today We Review Cabin Fever from 2002. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for films to watch, comment below. Reach me on Twitter at MadLFan. You can use hashtag TodayWeReview. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.